It's a pleasant welcome to a special edition of the program where I have in the studio as my guest the former head of state, the Republic of Sierra Leone, Captain Retired uh, Melvin Strasser. He's here with me in the studio. Good morning, Captain. Good morning, Abdul Lamar. Ever since you returned to the country from where you sojourned in the United Kingdom. Let us begin to talk a little, a little about life after your presidency. Well, like you pointed out, I traveled to the United Kingdom and enrolled in a university and studied law and came back for, for, for about two, three years. After which? I developed a project and implemented it. Since then, Captain Strasser, you've been pretty much silent. Uh, in other words, uh, pretty much unnoticeable within the governance structure in the country. Um, you've witnessed successive two elections, 2012, I'm aware. What was that? 2012 elections, we're here. Yeah, that's true. And now, the current one, 2018. Right. Uh, we've seen the first phase of election concluded with two political aspirant candidates going for the runoff. Dr. Matthew Wilson's Murakamara, retired Brigadier Julius Madabiu. Uh, they will be contesting for the Tuesday, March 27 presidential runoff. Both gentlemen, I'm sure, they've was, worked under you as former head of state. How much will you want to relate to the audience about their individual character when it comes to good governance in the state? I think it's in terms of um, record, I mean track, track record. Track record, yes. It, it doesn't matter to which geopolitical party they belong. Both have um, served in um, public office, but in two, two, two different capacities. Mado was, um, Mado Bio, I mean, Mado Bio was um, deputy chairman at that time, but he was in uniform. It was somebody at the time who I saw as committed to the sort of work that he was doing, given, you know, the duty that, that the army had to play at that time, given the security situation in and around um, the country. Whereas on the other one, Dr. Samoa was with the, was more or less the finance man. He was working with um, Steve, Steve, I forgot the... Steve Suarez. Steve Suarez, yes, he, you know, the, 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 the bank governor then. And I think he was financial secretary. And he was one of the um, pioneers of um, the um, economic finance restructuring support program that had... Um, funding from the IMF it, it was it was a, it was um, it was um, a program that was like a debt buyback or debt cancellation thing you know we inherited a huge debt stock at the time when yes when we we uh, took over governance. took over the reins of um, oh. governance yeah. so 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 that debt stock had to go so that you know the country could then become eligible, you know, for new loans and apply for new grants. Well, he was one of the architects of the uh, uh, restructuring uh, 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 economic, you know, um, program that actually, you know, wiped out Sterling's debt one, and then access new new grants and new loans, you know, for 
for for for uh, um, um, for uh, public sector reforms and and the like. He had no stain. For all I know, until such time that I left, he, he was both diligent and you know committed to duty and service. I can't say anything bad about him. You know, uh, as a policy maker then at that time. With that, Captain Strasser, let's look at the two gentlemen um, in depthly. Um, you've given a brief synopsis about um, who Dr. Kamara, Samuel Kamara is. Uh, let's focus a little bit on uh, retired Brigadier Julius Nadabi. These two gentlemen they serve under you as head of state. Right. Um, how much do you know about retired Brigadier Julius Nadabi? Well, we trained together in the first instance. We, it was one of a team in a batch, trained, you, you know, in 19, in 1980, in 1983, was it? And we all commissioned in 1984. We were a training school for about, or oh, just over eight months. So, so, so I can't say I know him very, 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 very well. If you know what I'm trying to say, because afterwards, we all got posted out to different different units. He was in, he was in another, he was serving in another unit, and I was serving in another unit. So we had little time to interact. Now, the ones who I served with from the same batch, in the same unit, those ones I can tell you that I know much about. I mean, the likes of um, the late um, uh, Lieutenant um, Masaka Mashekukuma, we were all in the same batch, uh, who served with me uh, in, in Teko, the second regiment of the Republic of Severin at that time, second battalion. I mean. The like is dead by the way, he died during the fighting. The likes of um, uh, the late Major A.G. and Nabu. I can't tell you that I know much about those guys because I served with them in the same unit for, for several years. Well, that's not the case with Mother Bill. It's not the case with Mother Bill. I can also say a similar thing for the late Captain Sajmusa. He served in the 1st Battalion for all the years he was in the Army, and I was in the 2nd Battalion. I, ca I can say the same for S.J. Musa as well. I don't know much about him. But what I do know is that, um, that we were all trained together. We, we got commissioned in on the same day and started our service. We saw Captain Strasser. Um, Mother Bill, before the coming of Samara Kamara in 2018 presidential elections, put himself forward um, for the presidency of this country. But there are issues that seem to be haunting him. Um, so many of them. One, the hue and cry condemnation about him um, toppled you as head of state then. It doesn't please so many people. They thought um, it wasn't right. Um, you would have been given this opportunity to actually make some, make some transformative growth and development in the country. Uh, cutting short that ambition of yours, mm. taking you out of the throne, uh, you know, angered so many people. How, when you sit all by yourself and recall those memories, do you hold a sense of despair or you feel pretty much betrayed? Well, that's the thing. People, people always use conspiracy theories, you know, to justify the various ways, you know, they see things. Mm -hmm. Technically, and that's unfortunate, though. It, 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 might, it might, it might seem difficult, you know, for people who did not do military service, you know, to understand what I'm trying to explain here. Yep. You see, 
you have two types of commissions in the in the armed forces. One is the short term commission. The second one is the uh, long service commission. The short term commission runs for basically ten years, and that's it. See, for example, if you if you if you if you got enlisted in nineteen eighty. In 1990, you should, you should leave, you should go, if you short service commission. Okay. Alternatively, if you, if, you, if you long service commission, I mean, these are choices that are open to you. You, you know, you say which of these okay, two you, you choose. You, you, yeah, if, if you understand what I'm talking about. You, the long service you know, a commission of service runs for 22 years, which means you can still be in service and make it, say, for example, you know, to, to, to ranks such as you know, uh, colonels, brigadiers, as, as, as in his case, uh, you know, lieutenant generals, you know, and upwards, mm -hmm. because you have, you know, a, so, a long, so long a time, time. you know, a year to serve. Now, but my, but my case was such that I, 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 I got, I, you know, I, I graduated in, 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 19, in 1980, in, in 1984, there about in 1984 as a cadet in 1984 and started serving in the same year so you would expect that 10 years added to that would look like something like 1994 no mm -hmm. something like 1994 yes so i ought to have gone then i, I mean the 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 um the um the strange thing was I was in that place as head of state, and then and then this found me. So 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 on records, I, I, you know my service. You would have gone. Yeah, my service has already ended. Okay. Because it's a short term commission. Because it's a short term commission. Except if I had applied for extension, which I wasn't too willing to do. Which I wasn't too willing to do. I felt that you know I just, you know I had served you know my country well. You know, given the difficult periods you know that the country found you know itself in that, you know at, at that time against the background of the uh, fighting going on between you know uh, forces loyal to the government and you know fully and the Indonesian United Front. So I thought you know mine was this and that. that that's that's the first thing. That's the first point I should make. The second point is why why Mada would 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 argue that it was it was a coup d'état and, and, and that it wasn't a it wasn't an interregnum, according to him, is that I was the one who was um, you know opposed to elections, and I never and I never wanted you know, elections to go ahead. Are scheduled, which is not true. The facts, you know, we are not committed to uphold the principles of democracy. He, he, but he is saying this. Or are you accusing me? No, 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 no. You, you, you I'm know, just reiterating what. But, he, but he, this is what he is saying. You know, I don't know. You know, to make him, you know, perhaps you know more popular. You, you, you know, as a politician. So that he gets the numbers that he's looking for, okay. you know, he, he, he maybe feels that by defaming me, you know, would make him more more popular among you know Sierra Leoneans. That that's what he's saying. But the facts are saying, you know, the, the facts are telling a different story. I hosted been to many one. It was been. I mean, if you remember, yes, been to many one was the conference that actually had you know delegates from all the all people, the all political parties. Association. I mean, all the, the political parties registered. You know, I, I think the government registered about 17 political parties, including this very All People's Congress and the various uh, People's Party, the SLPP. You know, SLPP was dead and gone. If you remember, you remember we were, we were a single party state for yes. something like 30 years. Yes, yeah. So, so, so there was no opposition. At, you know, at that time it was that government that actually. Registered, you know, the SLPP and brought it back to life. Oh. Yeah, Bintumani one set the date for election. Remember, the the, the schedule was a three-year one. 
If you remember. Mm-hmm. I recall. Oh, but you must have been a very young man then. <laughs> you know, perhaps that's why. I go, it, I go it, into history and read all Yeah, it, it, it was a three-year schedule, you, you know, for the registration of political parties, the registration of voters, you, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You know? Then I left, given that 10 years, mm-hmm. that 10 years golden rule, mm-hmm. if you understand what I'm talking about. Yes. Yeah? Then he, 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 he succeeded me and became, naturally he would, yeah, because he was the deputy. He was my deputy. So I mean, even when I'm away, he would act as, you know, head of state. So he became head of state and appointed, you know, a new deputy. And then called for being to Mani too. I wasn't the one who hosted Bintu Mani too. I mean, those ones who know the facts would, you know, would tell you this. I was not the one who hosted Bintu Mani too. It was him when he became head of state who called for Bintu Mani too. At that time, you know, the, the, the ground work had already been done, you know, where the rebels were saying that they're ready to begin, to begin to peace talk talks. Peace. Yeah, they, they, they're willing now to talk peace. So what he did, you know, in Bintu Mani too was to, was to insist that now that the now that the RUF you know fighters are you know are ready to lay down their arms, that they should begin you know uh, uh, both informal and formal talks you know with the with the group before the elections. If you remember, it was in May. Okay, Captain Strasser, the indication now is that um, Madabu is still in governance. He contested the twenty twelve elections and lost. He lost this. Ele- he lost the 2012 election. Now yeah. he's in the race for the 2018, and we're going to f- for a runoff in the next um, one week. In fact, sorry to interrupt uh, tr- you. Yes, okay. okay. Sorry to interrupt yeah. you. The, the, what I found strange with the results so far is this: How can you say that a party, a political party, you know, has won? 56.1% of the number of seats in the House of Parliament. Yeah? And then put the opposition, the opposition, you know, presidential candidate, in the lead, in the exit polls. The numbers don't match. If you understand what I'm trying to mm-hmm. point out. I, I, can't, I can't understand why Julius Marabio should be leading Dr. Dr. Samoa Kamara. 43-42. 43 I can't understand. And the cumulative percentage is 103%. Not even 100%. You mean the total? The total, yes. 103 for the first time. It should have stayed within 100%. It, 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 it should have been in, you know, you know, confined to 100. 100. So, 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 so you see, like, uh, evidence of overvoting or what? Rigging ballot stuff? Yeah, for, for, for ballot stuffing, would you say? The question is, yeah. the people of this country are now given this opportunity to choose between the two presidential candidates. Yeah. Dr. Matthew Kamara and retired Captain, sorry, retired Brigadier Julius Madabu. Yeah. On the question of um, these two personalities who has the interests of um, the country at heart mm. in terms of having a wherewithal when it comes to real governance issues understanding the economy of the state, um, uh, the intention of moving this country forward. In your view, mm-hmm. who do you think should have been a better choice, or a logical choice if you choose? Well, if you remember, it was the same Dr. Samura Kamara who accused. Remember, he, he, he served him as his finance minister. Mm-hmm. You remember? Yes. The so-called MPRC2. True. True. So in fact, most people don't know the name you, you, you know, that government had, you know, after I had left. It was RMPRC, he reformed the old one. I mean, he added more members to, to, to council, and, and the thing became the Reformed National Provisional Ruling Council. He added that junta, and Dr. Samura Kamara was his finance minister. You know, he moved him up. He, and and uh, relieved, you know, uh, uh, um, this man who, who became the presidential candidate for the National Unity Party at that time, uh, Dr. John Karim. Dr. John Karim. Now, 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 the thing is, it, 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 it was the same Dr. 
Dr. Samuel Kamara, who, who accused him of making off with 18 million United States dollars. Can you trust such a man with your taxes? Would you? It's for the people of this country to actually answer to that question. Exactly. Yeah, well, I think that's what voters should be looking at. In addition to this... Um, in, 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 con in contrast, in contrast, that name, Dr. Dr. Samura Matthew Wilson Kamara, has never been mentioned or implicated in no corruption scandal throughout the life of this, of this government. Never, ever. So you see how stainless the man is? People like uh, Musa Tarali got fired for what perhaps you and I don't know. The, the vice president got sacked for his involvement in some, in some, in some, in some, in some shit the deal. Do we know the details? No. But Dr. 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 Samoa Matthew Wilson, you, you know, uh, Kamara, uh, has never been lined up, you know, uh, as anybody to face, you know, corruption charges before the anti-corruption Commission, so 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 that's the sort of person that you 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 can trust with your taxes. Somebody who's open and accountable. Don't you think so? The risk involved in entrusting the confidence in ruling this country on the two individuals. Well, well I don't think one person can speak for millions. I mean, if if you remember, there were. A total of three million and hundred and sixty-five thousand, you know, voters registered. I mean, you know, knock, knock away, you know, the hundred and sixty-five thousand. Say turn out, turn out is pretty low, yeah. Bad weather, you know, situations and so on, or etc. etc. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 they are the ones who should decide. I don't think it's for me and you to say so. I mean, they should use their ballots and 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 make the choice that they that they should make. I might vote Mother Bill anyway, after saying all of this, you know, about him. Who knows? There are those out there who, they, they got red shirts underneath, and then they, you know, they, 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 they don't, you know, uh, 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 green t-shirts, you know, on top, and tell people that the politics in this country is watermelon. Today they're red, tomorrow they're green. I don't think... A single country, you know, should uh, should should have several, you know, political boundaries, you know, based on political party philosophies. No dogma, no doctrine. Captain Strasser, you will be in a better position to make an assessment of the governance structure in the country um, for the last couple of years, because you've served as head of state and. Um, you were one individual that people tend to revere with reverence during your statesmanship. What is your impression about governance? Governance, you mean you mean the entire you mean, governance system, the you, way you, the country, you, where we're moving as a country, catching catching up with other developmental trajectory and all the rest. Uh, you mean in terms of performance? Performance, yes. Output. But I think people should not forget, you know, that some progress has been made in, in areas such as um, disaster relief, one, disease control, two, infrastructure and agriculture. I mean, people should not forget that good things came out, you know, from, you know, this, this regime, you know, like, such as areas like those ones mentioned. There may have been other things, you know, like, you, you know, line or pipeline projects, you know, that are still underway. You've got this new uh, international airport, you know, uh, 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 Malama. Malama, you know, that is uh, yet a pipeline project. There might be new projects you know, that would come if um, if given a chance again to, you know, to, 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 to form the next government. Uh, well, I know the longer periods are getting longer. I mean, the challenge, the challenge still remains rising unemployment and poverty levels. A lot more can, uh, you know, can and could be done. There is this perception about politicians feeling this tri negative tribal sentiments across the country. And we witnessed this immediately after the first round of the presidential election results were announced. Uh, when you look at the voting pattern, yeah. um, 
the southern and eastern part of the country, they voted overwhelmingly for retired Brigadier Julius Madabu. And uh, this is a gentleman that managed to have scores even in the north mm. and western area, but exclusively for the like of Dr. Samura Kanara, what seemed to be coming out as a uh, remarkable score, especially in the eastern part of the country and southern part of the country, we are just the zeros. Mm. So the indication is um, the people of South and East mm. acknowledge that um, uh, this is our beloved son with whom we are well pleased. But what is your what is your opinion about the voting pattern in the country? For which people may now have been attributing it to tribal attachments, emotional attachment and all if, you, if you if you if you first and foremost if you look at you know, vote counts. I, I mean, with, with, with this election, what's this thing interfering with, you know, results at neck using computers? Is it ma match fixing? It could be. It, yeah. it, it, could, it, it could very well be. Gensi. That's the first thing. The second thing is, I mean, say what you like. Say what you like. Given, you, you know, the many tribes, you know, that we, that Sarion, you know, uh, do, do have, including the bigger ones as well as the many smaller ones. You cannot take APC, neither the SLPP from them. Because every parliamentary election, these are the two parties you, you, you'll find, you'll find with MPs. It's only this election, you know, uh, 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 NGC got two seats, and the C4C got four seats, and Colonel, and Dr. Kende Junkela got... Sounds in, in fact, that's, that's, that's strange. And, and that's remarkable. The only parliament that had, that had, that had um, a third party with MPs is 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 the parliament just just before the late President Ahmed Dr. Chiran Kaba ended the storm in office. I think PMDC had ten. But all the other elections, if the parliamentary elections, you'll find you'll find most times it's the APCU APCU would be in the majority, and the SLPP would end up as the minority in the house. No other parties, you know, you find, you know, with MPs representing, you know, the interest, you know, of, uh, you know, the, you know, blocks, 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 into the regions and so on. If you understand, what, you know, what I'm talking about. So, so, so that tells you the way people vote. I mean, that that gives you an indication as to who and who. Sierra Leone and Swan to represent them in, in, you know, in the House of Parliament. You, would you change that? So, in other words, it's not going closer to the perceived tribal connection. It is nothing tribalistic about this. I don't think it has anything to do with tribalism. It's, it's, it's what people feel, you know, could benefit them. That's what they're doing. Okay. I think that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. I don't know. Why, why is it, you know, uh, the South is so attached, you know, to the SLPP. If you remember, the, the South was the most affected during the fighting. And for one thing, the SLPP actually did bring peace and built peace. If you remember, it's as if that's what is, you, 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 you know has made them so attached, you know, to you, you know, to think because of the you, you, peace. Peace is 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 is, is hard one. Peace is hard one. They suffered the, most of the uh, war victims, you know, are from the South. Could, could, could it be? Could it be a justification now that things is saying that it's as a result of the SLPP bringing peace to the country that they seem to be attached much more to the SLPP as a party, and by extension, Mother Bia saying um, he is the father of democracy. He's, he's even saying that he was the one who brought peace, you know, 
Because as a tender to, age, to, to sell it. But he wasn't the one who signed the Lume Peace Agreement, was he? Well, remember a point where he transferred power to Tijan Kaba. Which was good. Mm -hmm. I was happy that he did so. I thought he was going to hang on. Had they, had, had they allowed him had been to money too, you think that would have happened? Should I, should I come again? Come again, yes. Let's say, Bintumani 2 unanimously agreed that, you know, peace talks should begin and that the election should be postponed. Would that have happened at the time when that happened? I am looking at the flip side, Richard Captain Strasser. On having all of those dispositions, the military guys around him, he would have insisted, even as an association, we are the people... We are persistent to actually return the country to democracy. Yeah. But see, on his personal disposition, he said, you know what? Huh? For the collective benefit of this nation, I will hand over power to a civilian government. And he did so, he did so genuinely by giving power to... He yeah, under international pressure, of course, and, and you know, and the one coming, you, you, you know, from, 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 from within or domestically. Hey, you, hey, 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 he had to. He would, have, he, he would have been tempted to have resisted all those things. Yeah, no, but are they giving him the mandate you know, to say, begin peace talks you know, until you sign a peace agreement, you, you know, then we begin to go now for elections? He would still have been there, wouldn't he? Is it time that Julius Mother Bio, in your view, a very fine gentleman? I told, you, I told you that I don't know much about this man in terms they of... They literally know about him. In terms of, what do you mean by, you know, a fine gentleman? What, what are the yardsticks you The yardstick uh, you being a fine gentleman, to, to, somebody, to that is, somebody that is... somebody like that one. Yeah, somebody that is pretty much committed to upholding the democratic credentials of the country. Somebody that... Uh, Including respect for human rights? Yeah, respect. Well, um, that seems to be questionable now. Yeah, that's questionable. Mm -hmm. What's your memory towards that? Why were there shootings at uh, James Jonas, you know, uh, uh, residents at the time, before it is also announced. Who would have stopped the killing of 24 military officers then? Who would have stopped the execution of other people at Patimbo Road as we are practically killing all the rest of it? You, you, you're talking about extrajudicial Judicial killings. killings at the eve. But would, you, would, you, would, would you say no to the death penalty? They, they, were, they were condemned to death by firing squad in very much the same way, like um, Kula Samba and others were condemned to death by firing squad. The good thing is, I was happy when President said that his government never committed not one single extra extrajudicial killing. That is President Anis Baikuru. Which is why this government's human rights record is, is good. Well, compared, you, you, you know, that with the SLP, when they were the government. Do you, you see that as you remember how many people got, you know, per, uh, summarily executed by Nigerian soldiers, you know, for so-called collaboration? Do you remember how many collaborators got e executed? In, you know, tens of thousands. People tend to forget the death toll stood at ten thousand innocent civilians in the last their lives during that interregnum, January six, if you remember. Several people got gunned up, you know, from their hopes, taken to unknown places, and executed. People who did not go to Guinea, you know, were seen as anything. And they introduce a militia unit you know, to take the role of the army. How can you do a thing like that? It's unconstitutional and, 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 and it's unacceptable. Are you, you, see, are you justifying the instances of killing? No, I'm not saying I'm not saying that anybody has the right you know, to claim the life of another. It's, it, it's simple murder, isn't it? <laughs> but laws could be reformed, no? If 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 the penalty you, you you know specifies, you know. That the, if 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 a conviction if, if a conviction is is upheld, that's what happens, except with the prerogative of mercy. As we speak, those are issues that keep haunting Richard Begina Julius Madabio as uh, we move into the election campaign. So many people seem to be mooting up those issues by way of having capital gain as a result of um, what he did then. Do you believe 
those are strong enough arguments that will minimize his chances of becoming a winnable candidate. I have still not been able to get the point here, Jeff, but, but what are you trying to drive at? The issue of this extrajudicial killing, ever since he was a member of the NPRC, still keep haunting him. You have family members that are calling for justice to be restored. And him putting himself forward as a presidential candidate of the, old, uh, of the Syrian People's Party. But, I'm going People I'm are saying, I'm coming, people yeah. are saying, it has a tendency to reduce his chances of becoming a winnable candidate. Winnable candidate. Do, 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 do you see that argument strong enough? Come on. Let's see with, uh, you know, the, the, the second answer, which, for example, with the SLPP, you know, with, the, with a lower number of seats in parliament, would he be able to form a government? Perhaps you'll be looking for a government of inclusion. Do you think anything would work? In his view, maybe it will serve. No, the but in our view, no, it will, maybe it will serve the purpose well for him. With his party, you, you know, uh, with, with a lower number of seats in parliament, would he be able to sign any bill into law? It will put the test of his negotiation power to the front line. How to bargain to make your way, meander your way to get through governance. Have you ever seen that happen in any uh, democratic country? If I've never seen an example of it, perhaps um, anticipatedly we would love to see one if it succeeds. A party in minority in the House of Parliament. Yeah. And, 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 uh, adding a government with, with MPs, with party MPs, minority in Parliament, and the opposition with majority seats. Would anything work? Maybe, in his view, it will work for him. Oh, in his view? Yeah, in his view. For him, maybe, in his view. But do you think that's the way Sierra Leoneans would do things? Well, again, we go to the question of um, what went wrong. We are the majority seat won by the APC within the capital city does not reflect the percentage of, for the presidency. That's strange, isn't it? It is. Or somebody somewhere ought to have been taking the blame. So, so, so you're saying literally that a lot more vigilance has to be has to be put into 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 checking some of these you know malpractices you know, into the second rounds. Extra vigilance and it's needed. Yeah, it's needed, and monitoring of the entire process. I strongly agree with you. Conclusively, retired um, Captain Strasser. I have been talking to a lot of current serving military officers, past, they revered you with reverence, I don't hesitate in the name, we have one retired Major Matthew. You mean respect, they, they've got they respect, respect for yeah. the hour, yeah. they, they, that's what they know me for, what I'm not. Retired Major is now a Dr. Matthew Kamara. Yes, I know him, he, he, we, 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 we all trained, you know, uh, uh, together. When you look at, when you look at the general outlook of the military. Is this a military that you we are envisaging to have left in set of position or there has been some transformative growth and development within the army? Well remember after 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 the late president Akbe Dr. Tishan Kaba got reinstated, you know he was the commander in chief. Mm -hmm. Then the Republic of Southern Armed Forces Act two thousand was passed. I don't know, I don't know the details of, you know, what was in that act, but what, what that act has done for the armed forces is to say it's, it's, it's an institution that is constitutional and nothing should be done to, to neither degrade nor draw down. We ask it is. If you understand what I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah? That's the first point. The second point is, I think they've, 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 they've now developed, you know, the, the capability to train 
you know, peacekeeping troops and contribute, you know, to, to, to uh, peace, uh, peace, support peace support, you know, operations in places like Sudan. Unfortunately, they've closed down now. Mm -hmm. And in, you know, in, in parts in, 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 in Somalia. So, 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 so I think that's, that's, that's loads and loads of kudos to them. On the army to be seen a political a political yeah that's your wish that's my dream i am not sure i intended to put you on the spotlight um retired captain strasser if we are to go to the polls tomorrow the 27th i'm not saying tomorrow the 27th i'm only making an example if we have to go to the polls tomorrow morning don't tell me who you're going to vote for. Still, the people of this country sees you as somebody that has this embodiment of a nationalistic spirit. Somebody pretty much content. Ever since you returned to the country, you have been in that um, little village there, living your life peacefully, unnoticed. What will you tell the people of this country to be guided come the 27th of March 2018, Tuesday, as they go to the poll for the second round, in terms of what perhaps will constitute the bigger risk chosen between Julius, sorry, retired Brigadier Julius Madabio and Dr. Matthew Kamara? I think the people should put personalities aside and try and look at the development issues involved in terms of how those affect their day-to-day, -day, you know, uh, 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 means of livelihood in their small, smaller communities. Which of these two stands better to believe of in the short and into the medium term should be a more preferred choice. And in your view, who will that be? I'd rather support a candidate whose party is majority in the house. So in this case, the APC? That's right. How is your business driving your computer outfit? How is it doing? You, you, know, uh, you know, sponsors are most of these uh, politicians who, who see the community development you know, type of people. Okay. The elections, you know, everybody is focusing around elections in the United States, so things are slowing down. When we have, when we have concluded this election business, um, uh, are you looking forward to any potential assistance to drive the growth and development of that business? Too? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. On this note, I want to thank you so much, um, Richard Captain Valentine Strasser, for making your way to our studios, talking to us here. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And this is how I bring out the curtain in this extra program with my guest being the former head of state, retired captain Melvin Strasser. I have been the presenter of the program. My name is Abdul Rahman Kamara. <music>